The coming week could be marked by some huge disruptions in the school system. If teachers go on strike, more than 500,000 students across B.C. could suddenly have an unexpected classroom break. Kylie Stanton has more on what is likely to happen in the days ahead. School lets out and parents wait. It's giving them time to consider their next move if this routine gets shaken up. It's difficult when... Uh on families when, when teachers strike. I know a lot of people will affect in a very negative way. Getting care for your children right at last second is going to be almost next to impossible. You're going to look at characters. After a year of negotiations and more than six months of job action, the BC Teachers Federation is on the verge of a full-scale walkout. We're in the middle of two days of a uh, province-wide internal vote uh, and that uh, vote will be concluded this evening and that will help inform us of the next steps that we need to take. Morning. The Labour Relations Board will allow teachers to strike for three consecutive days as long as they give two school days notice, which means... The earliest, theoretically, it could be, I think, is Monday. And that has districts making preparations. The good news is we're going to have a couple of days notice so we can let parents know that. that that's well appreciated. Uh, and the second part, I suppose, is that we, uh, we need to do preparation for the people, because there will not be picket lines, who will be still coming to school. We have QP staff that will, uh, support staff that will be coming to school and principals and vice principals. I'm pleased to introduce the Education Improvement Act. It comes as the government is working to pass Bill 22 that suspends the teachers' strike action and sets a cooling off period allowing for mediation. But it could take up to two weeks before the legislation becomes law. We'll be beginning second reading debate tomorrow and then picking it up again on Monday. Uh, where it will go after that will depend on the, where the legislature wants to take it. It gives teachers a small window of opportunity to walk off the job legally, but there are options for parents. Recreation Oak Bay is ramping up its Skedaddle Kids program to meet the expected increase in demand. It's a camp type of program that we run on pro D days. We offer it over spring break, we offer it in the summer, so it's a program that the community is familiar with. We've got it ready to go and set up so that if the strike is announced, we can get kids registered right away. These parents are hoping it doesn't get to that point. Obviously, we'd prefer if she was uh, at school, attending school. But given the uncertainty, it could be time to consider the alternatives.